The Genetics of the Jewish Priesthood, What New DNA Evidence Really Shows. For nearly 30 years, geneticists have been asking a remarkable question. Do today's Jewish priests, the Kohanim, actually share ancient paternal ancestry? A new 2025 study, just released as a preprint, finally gives us the most detailed answer yet. Using full Y chromosome sequencing instead of the limited marker tests of the past. And the results are far more nuanced and far more compelling than most people realize. What this study did differently. Earlier studies relied on a small number of genetic markers. This new research analyzed entire Y chromosomes from rigorously documented Kohanim across nearly the entire Jewish diaspora. Ashkenazi, Sephardi, Mizrahi, Yemenite, Persian, Iraqi, North African, and more. Using modern phylogenetic tools, the authors identified nine distinct paternal lineages that are significantly enriched among Kohanim. They labeled these lineages Kohen branches, or CB-01 through CB-09. But one lineage stands out above all the others. The dominant priestly lineage, CB-01. One branch alone, called CB-01, within haplogroup J-P58, accounts for about 45% of all Kohanim in the study. This lineage is found in every major Jewish community, has a time to most recent common ancestor around 850 BCE, shows explosive diversification during the Iron Age and early Second Temple period, and has clear Levantine Near Eastern roots. In other words, if there is any Y chromosome lineage that plausibly traces back to an ancient Judean priesthood, this is it. This branch corresponds to what earlier studies loosely called the Kohen modal haplotype. But now, for the first time, we can see its full internal structure, age, and diaspora spread. Why CB-01 matters historically? CB-01 didn't just survive, it diversified early. The study shows rapid branching between 700 and 300 BCE. Dozens of distinctly priestly, distinct priestly sublines already existing before the Roman Empire, Roman period. Survival of multiple independent branches across Europe, North Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia. This suggests that Kohen lineages were already diverse within Judea itself, long before the Jewish diaspora fully formed. That's important because it means the priesthood wasn't a late invention or medieval myth. It was a real, structured, hereditary class embedded in ancient Israelite society. But here's the key nuance. CB-1 is not the only priestly lineage. The study identifies two additional lineages with Iron Age origins that may reflect other ancient priestly families. Several Near Eastern lineages whose priestly status likely crystallized later, and a handful of Mediterranean or European affinity lines probably absorbed into the priesthood during the, the diaspora. Altogether, about 20% of Kohanim don't fall into any of the main priestly branches identified so far. This tells us something crucial. The Jewish priesthood was never genetically singular, and that actually aligns well with historical scholarship, which suggests multiple priestly houses, social shifts, and occasional incorporation of new lineages over time. What this study does not claim. The authors are very careful here, and that matters. This research does not claim genetics can define religious status, does not claim CB-01 equals Aaron, does not deny historical complexity, adoption, or non-paternity events. Instead, it shows that tradition and biology partially overlap. Not perfectly, but not randomly either. 
That balance is exactly what you would expect from a people with 3,000 years of recorded history. The bigger picture. What makes this study truly powerful isn't just priesthood. It shows that uniparental DNA can preserve deep historical signals, even after exile, migration, persecution, and dispersion across continents. CB-01 acts almost like genetic tracer dye, linking Jews in Poland, Morocco, Yemen, Iraq, and Italy back to a shared Iron Age Near Eastern past. That has implications far beyond Kohanim. Final takeaway. So what does this mean for the Seed of Israel question? It means that some Jewish lineages, including priestly ones, do preserve real ancient continuity. Jewish ancestry is deeply Levantine, but never genetically monolithic. And modern genetics, when used carefully, can illuminate history, not rewrite it. This study doesn't prove every tradition, but it strongly supports the idea that the roots of Israel were real, ancient, and enduring. And that's a story worth telling.